Hey guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing, and I am a functional medicine nurse practitioner that specializes in treating women with fibromyalgia so that they can get back to loving their lives. Today, we're going to be talking about five counterintuitive ways of adding excitement into your long-term relationship so that you can help to improve your fibromyalgia symptoms. When you hear the word passion, what kind of picture comes to your mind? Think about that for a second. And if you are thinking about only the bedroom, you're really missing half of the fun. Passion involves living fully and having enthusiasm. And when it's applied to your relationships, it really helps to encompass every aspect of your life together. Now think about this. Just how much passion do you really enjoy in your life? It's really time to start thinking passionately. Are you ready for more excitement in your long-term relationship? If so, you definitely want to pay attention um, to what I'm going to talk about next and the tips, um, which are somewhat unexpected, so that you can get the route to this long-term, healthy, exciting relationship. And, you know, I hear from so many women all the time about their fibromyalgia and their spouses and their family not understanding listen to these tips because they may sound silly and you know kind of off the wall but they're going to help you in your relationship so that your spouse can better understand you and help you with your fibromyalgia which is what we all want um, and then not to mention if you don't have a strong healthy relationship and you're not having excitement in your life it just makes your fibromyalgia that much worse so work on the things that you can change and adding excitement into your relationship is definitely one that you can change. So the first tip is to take some me time. How can you possibly be at your best with your partner when you never take any time for yourself? So this is really important, even if it just means that you're laying in bed, reading a book for 30 minutes every day um, as your time for you. Um, but pulling back to recharge and yes, even pampering yourself leaves you feeling more relaxed and receptive when it comes to your time with your lover. So if you're not sure where to begin, let's think about what are some things um, that you're passionate about? You know, do you love reading? Do you love skiing? Do you love knitting? You know, do you love getting your hair done? Whatever it is, find something that you really, really enjoy and make sure that you're getting it in your life every single day. This is going to be your time. And it's super, super important when you have fibromyalgia that you're taking that time to take care of yourself. A lot of people think that this means that um, they're being selfish when they take care of themselves and they put their needs first. But this is far, far from the truth. If you don't do the self-care and take care of you, you're going to suffer, which is in my opinion, why so many of us women have fibromyalgia, because we put ourselves last so often. So start taking time for you and taking that me time. The next tip is to make sure that you're sharing sparingly. Not everything needs to be said. And I am not by any um, stretch of the imagination, uh, stretch of the imagination, suggesting that you don't tell the whole truth or that you leave details out to kind of hide things from your partner, because that's definitely not going to work um, in improving your relationship and adding excitement to it. But you don't have to tell the whole story. You don't have to give every single detail all the time share some things um, that you want to share that are going to add that excitement and just leave a little bit out that makes the imagination wonder so that your significant other, your spouse, um, your lover can have that time to kind of be intrigued by what you have to say. So not everything needs to be said. Maintaining some mystery can actually help you spice up your life. Drop hints and tell only parts of that story and make sure you're stirring the passions by becoming an enigma um, needing to be solved. So try that. And again, that does not mean avoiding the truth or not telling the whole truth or being dishonest with your partner, because that is definitely the wrong way to go. Um, and next, we're going to talk about introducing um, your partner to things that interest you. So sharing those parts of your life with your significant other are so important. But on the 
a flip side of that, you need to be receptive as well to your partner's needs and their interests. So don't expect that your um, husband's going to go get a pedicure with you if you're not going to then turn around and maybe go hunting with him for some, for instance. You know, if you guys are going to share interests and things like that, you need to be able to give and take and both of you um, commit to sharing a, an interest in something just for your partner's sake and for that relationship and building time together. Did you know that um, your eyes light up when you talk about something that you love? It's absolutely true. Um, so allowing yourself to experience passion fully, even the ones which you have nothing to do with your significant other are going to light you up. And this is going to make your partner enthralled by the change that comes over when you're excited about the things that you love. By extension, they'll feel your excitement right along with you. And here is where your long-term partner will discover the layers to the one that they love. This is especially powerful when you invite your partner personally um, into your world and into your interests and allowing them to explore it with you. So definitely want to make sure that you're introducing your partner, your significant other, your lover to your world, to your interests, and sharing that with them so that they can see your excitement and see um, how this um, lights you up and excites you. And experience growth. So this is so important. Uh, there's nothing more exciting in um, than someone who has um, gone or nothing that's not exciting um, about somebody who's completely stagnant. They're not changing. They're not growing. They're not learning. Um, and so if you find that like you're the same person you were 20 years ago, that not is not necessarily bad. But if you're not um, growing, um, things are not going to be as good for you. So try to learn new things and do things that are going to um, give you growth. You want to make sure that you're working through your past, you're becoming better than you were before, that you're at your best at any fantastic thing that you like, that you're doing it the best that you can, and that you're learning from the experience. And in this case, your long-term partners are going to be able to share the excitement of your growth as they discover alongside you who you really are and um, what is happening with you. So growth is normal. Growth is good and healthy for you. So make sure that you're doing things that are going to help you grow as a person. And next, you want to make sure that your partner is your lover. So in the end, don't forget to direct the quality passion squarely at your partner. Your long-term partner really needs to feel like your lover. Make them the first thing in your mind with all of the passion which goes along with it. Then you want to make sure that you're engaging them on this level for some truly fireworks worthy time together. This passion will sizzle and crackle between you whether you're in the bedroom or not. So this is not all about having an amazing sexual relationship, which is also extremely healthy and important. Um, so many times with fibromyalgia, I hear um, women say that sex is painful, sex is uncomfortable, um, they don't enjoy it anymore because of their pain, because of their fatigue, because of the fiber fog, you know, not to mention if they have bladder problems, IBS, you know, all of these things that go into it. I don't have to tell you if you suffer from fibromyalgia, you already know. But denying your partner that part of the relationship is only going to make that relationship harder. And it's also going to um, increase your stress level, which is going to then increase your pain, your fatigue, your brain fog, and all of that. So make sure that you're keeping that passion burning and that you're doing things that are exciting in your relationship. It does not have to all be sexual in order to be passionate um, and to keep that spark going. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you like the video if you did. Follow me so that you um, see my new videos as they come up. And if you would like an appointment or would like any information on how I can help you with your fibromyalgia, um, make sure you click the link below the video and you can set up an appointment for a free consultation anytime. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.